Hey folks, welcome back to the Four Strings Drummer, the channel that's all about ukuleles. We're playing old songs, learning new songs, learning techniques, and talking about the instruments. Today we're going to work a little bit of technique and learn a new song. So, uh, today we're going to look at chord melodies some more, some basic, basic stuff on chord melody. So what I'd like to do is to get everybody comfortable with playing a chord and playing the melody at the same time. And the way I think we're going to do that today is by picking a really simple song this song is perfect. It only has one chord for, for the whole thing. You can play the whole song with one chord. Let me just play it for you. It's called Little Eyes of Jane. And it's kind of just an old uh, folk song. There's a million different verses, but we're just going to focus on this. Here we go. Well, I got a girl in Baltimore, Little Eyes of Jane. Streetcars running by her door, Little Eyes of Jane. Oh, Little Eyes of, Little Eyes of Jane. Oh, little Liza, little Liza Jane. So you can play the whole thing, one chord. Okay? Um, and again, what this will do is I want people to get the idea that just, okay, don't worry about the chord for today. I want to worry more about melody, what else is going on. Okay? So you can just take super glue and just stick your finger down there on the C chord. Okay? Not really. Um, so let's start off. I'm just going to pull up a little bit more here. And I'll see if we can get a little closer in on the fingerboard without getting too close to the light so that my fingers disappear. <laughs> my hands are so white because they're, there's no tan. I haven't been outside and I'm, I'm white verging on blue right now. Okay, here we go. So let's get the strum going first. So it's little eyes of Jane. Just down. With your thumb. La 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 Little eyes of Jane. La 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 Little eyes of Jane. Just like that. Okay. Now, here we go. So you want to think about where is that first note. So what I do is I strum it. Mm, I got a girl. And I start to sing. I, there it is. And I just strum it. Until I find that note. Sometimes you gotta drop a finger. But this one's a nice open string. Okay, and it's my second string from the bottom there. Uh, so that's where we're gonna start. I got a. It's gonna go down. Girl. So it's I got a girl. Okay, I open on the second string. Mm, mm, mm. And then the third string, second fret. Open on the third string. Open on the second string. Drop your finger at the third fret on the second string. Two. Open. Back to your second fret, third thing, uh, third string. Second string. And back to putting your second finger at the third fret. So again, I'll just play it through. Again. Now, let's try the strumming. Just sing it. I got a girl in Baltimore, little Liza Jane. Streetcars running by her door, little Liza Jane. Okay. Now let's try it with the fingers here. Keep your C finger here, your C chord just glued down. Okay. I got a girl in Baltimore, little eyes of Jane. Again. I got a girl in Baltimore, little eyes of Jane. Okay, you got that? Don't worry about picking those individual notes. You're just strumming. The open ones will come out in the strum. I got a girl in Baltimore, little Liza Jane. All right, let's move to the second part. 
of the verse. Street. So it's just open. So it's open on the second, up to the uh, third string, open on the third, open on the second, third fret, lift, open, and back to the third string. Okay, strum it through. Street cars running by the door, little eyes a dream. Okay, now let's try it with the fingers. Street cars running by the door, little eyes a dream. I might have done that wrong. Try it again. Street cars running. No, I did it right. By the door, little eyes a dream. The next one is right here on your C chord. So you want to just strum right down and concentrate more on getting these three strings at the bottom strummed rather than all of them. It just helps to pick that one note out that you want. So it's pinky up here to the fifth fret Lies. lift it but keep your second finger on there so it's and I leave my second finger there while I go up with my pinky to the fifth fret because it's a dum, dum. it's kind of quick dum, dum. lift la, la, la. dropping your first finger here at the uh, second fret on the third string, open on the second string, and then drop your second finger. We're back to, back drop your finger down at the uh, third fret, quickly up to the fifth and off, oops, lift, open, back here to the first finger on your third um, string and then lift it okay so it goes like this basically the whole song. Now you can start to play around with your strumming if you want to. Now if you haven't seen my uh, video tutorial on um, strumming, I'll put a little card here and um, you can go over to that later and, and check it out because it'll show you how to do some different types of strumming. Okay, um, So that you can kind of go, if you want to pick out more, if you're a little bit more advanced or whatever, uh, or you want to get more advanced, you can work on this strumming. It's like a little ding, flick, ding, flick. So you can Okay, you can Okay, if you're not there yet, don't worry about it, but if you feel like you're a little bit more advanced or you'd like to see what that's all about, check that other video out as well and that'll, and that'll help you out there. Okay, so give that a whirl. It's a fun song to play. And what I, what I do sometimes is I'll sing a, sing a verse and then I'll pick a verse. Well, I got a girl in Tokyo, little eyes of Jane, spring blossom by the love, little eyes of Jane, whatever the words are. Oh, little Liza, little Liza Jane. Oh, 
little eyes, oh little eyes of Jane, if you just want to use your thumb. Oh little eyes, oh little eyes of Jane. Oh little eyes, oh little eyes of Jane. So whatever strumming pattern you want to use, just dig in. If it's just down, 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 if you want to do down up, if you want to just kind of back and forth it, see what I'm doing there? Just back and forth. If you want to do something like that, that's cool too. If you want to do a All these little things are just little steps that you go up. Don't try and take two steps at once though, okay? Because that's where people get lost and that's where people get frustrated and then they fall down the stairs, okay? So just take one step at a time, head your way up, get one thing down first, right? So that's again why we just did a one chord song today. Don't worry about the second chord and all that extra fanciness. Just concentrate on getting this part done. That's why a simple strum is actually a good way to a go with this one for now okay all right folks that's it for now and i'm just gonna spin this up a little bit here and back away so if you've got any questions at all please just drop them into the comments i'm more than happy to try and uh, help you out with that and um any requests again for different songs um whether it's chord melody or not drop those into the comments i'll do my best to get to those as well and uh, if you could, you'll see a little subscribe button pop up here. I'd appreciate it if you, uh, if you subscribe. It's good for you because then if you like these types of videos, you're not going to miss out on any of the content that's going to be coming out. It also helps me to get the um, videos out to more people. Give us a big thumbs up. If you like this type of thing, I'd appreciate it. And until we see you next time, keep strumming, keep smiling, and have fun. Bye for now.